Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Thank you for watching another episode of We Get Scam For You. Today we're going to be taking a look at romance scams and how you can spot them. And specifically, we're going to take a look at email romance scams and several key signs um, to show that the email is probably not as legit as you think it is. The first thing you want to take a look at is <clears throat> who is it from and to whom it is from or to whom it is sent. Uh, as you notice in this screenshot right here, I got an email recently from this lady named Diana and actually quite frequently I've been getting a lot of emails from the, the domain bbox.fr I mean, friends. Um, and so Diana, uh, she, she and I guess a bunch of other people have been trying to continually uh, email me uh, just various stuff, uh, idiotic stuff mostly. Um, but anyways, <coughs> you'll notice also in the to whom it's sent it says an undisclosed recipient so the first two things you can find out by this thing is number one I don't know who Diana is so that should throw me off it's saying this this uh, this email is probably not going to be something that I should take a look into and number two she sent it to a bunch of people probably BCC them meaning blank um, or blind carbon copy basically what she did is she sent out a mass uh, email to a bunch of different people and she's hoping people will respond to her so that she can engage them and then <clears throat> get them to do something or whatnot. Um, so that's that's one flag that you can look for if you're trying to look for an email scam that is probably a uh, romance scam as well. Uh, what type of content uh, in the email is the next flag you want to take a look at. So for example, this is what she wrote in uh, the email that she sent me. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Diana. I hope you have a good mood uh, for our acquaintance with you. If not, then I will just try to raise you his and not only mood, I will tell you not much about myself. I am 29 years old. I came here not long ago and almost no one met. In general, I still don't have a guy here with whom I could practice love without at which nights I feel very bad and is very no longer tolerable. I increasingly began to wake up at night from the thought that someone who would not have me, me from you, him, something or not. You know, I myself would have had you now, believe me, you would not forget me for a long time. I really hope that I would with you very soon, and in the meantime, I will dream how. Bleep, 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 bleep. Please write to me what poses you to like to you so that we can try to make each other nice before the meeting, waiting for an answer. I registered on this dating site before the meeting. Got him out. No, I just. Side comment, you know, you try writing, reading this um, word for word, and it's actually a lot harder than it seems. Uh, there's a lot of grammatical uh, mistakes here, so that throws throws it off one thing. Another thing, I, I redacted some of the stuff that she said because it was just too obscene and too explicit. Um, and this actually, this email wasn't half as bad as some of the other ones I've gotten. But you'll notice the extreme forwardness in this email that, you know, she just, she wants um, you, she, she wants to do something with you, but not only that, she wants you to go to a certain dating site. Okay, now I redacted the link because it's, um, number one, I think it's an adult site, and number two, it's, it's a site that doesn't need to be on my website. <laughs> um, so anyways, <laughs> there's two things, um, not only that, but the other thing is she, she says that she came over here long ago and almost met no one. So what she's trying to make you think is, oh look, she came over to your country, you know, and she's close by. When in reality, you know, she's just hoping that she can be as vague as possible so that you'll fall into this uh, scam. Um, basically because she wants to get you there to either scam you there or to do something else there. So. Um, that is another red flag. What what exactly the content in the what in the website is? It, what the content in the email is saying. Um, a third red flag is if they're sending images uh, or if they're sending attachments. So with this one, uh, she did send an attachment. I didn't look at it, um, but my guess is it's pretty explicit or obscene. Um, it's it's more just to create. Um, emotional desires in you so that you'll want to click on the link or want to contact her so that something will get going with it. Um, uh, also you have to be extremely careful opening attachments 
most attachments that you get from scammers will have malicious code in them um, that will download onto your website and then start wreaking havoc on your website. Uh, not website, but wreaking havoc on your computer. Um, let me start over. <laughs> most attachments have uh, most attachments from scammers will have malicious code on it that will wreak havoc on your computer. Um, you know, basically making you be able to making making it a gateway so that hackers can get into your system. Uh, so if they're sending you a, attachments, I mean that's that's one one of the number one signs for me that shows okay this is most likely a scammer. Um, additionally, the fourth. Uh, romance scam is if they start to ask you for money at whatever point. Um, I had been in contact with this lady named Evan Gia, um, and she she started asking me for money. You know, we had, we had talked for about a month or two. I knew she was a scammer, but <clears throat> I just played along and seeing what she was doing. And she she finally said, "Oh, I need to I need to get a visa, right? You know, I want to come over to your country." But once again, she never told me what my country was. But um, she said, oh, I'm, I'm going to come to you. I need $300, blah, 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 blah. Right? And she keep, kept on asking me, asking me, asking me for the money. Uh, and so that's, that's the fourth sign to know whether or not a email is a romance scam or not. If they <laughs> seem to just quickly ask you for money, or maybe not even quickly, maybe if they wait for a month or two, if they ask you for money, then it's not, it's not as legit as it seems, it, especially if you have not met them personally. If you're interested in more specifically about uh, romance, uh, not romance, but if you're more specifically interested about email scams, feel free to take a look at an article on how to spot an email scam. It typically goes through pretty much the same stuff that we've gone through here um, with a little more details. Thanks for watching.